enough to tell you that uh, there are constant attacks going on in Gaza, which is basically a prison, a huge prison, uh, under constant attack all the time, uh, economic strangulation, uh, military attack, assassinations, and so on. In comparison with that, abduction of a soldier, whatever one thinks about it, uh, doesn't rank high in the scale of atrocities. The United States regards Israel as uh, virtually a militarized offshoot, and it uh, protects it from the criticism or actions and supports tacitly and, in fact, overtly supports its expansion, its uh, uh, attacks on Palestinians, its uh, progressive uh, uh, takeover of uh, Palestine, what remains of Palestinian territory, and its uh, acts to uh, uh, well, actually realize a uh, comment that uh, Moshe Dayan made uh, back in the early 70s when he was responsible for uh, the occupied territories. He said uh, to his cabinet colleagues that we should tell the Palestinians that we have no solution for you. That you will live like dogs, and whoever will leave will leave. And we'll see where that leads. And that's basically the policy. And I presume the U.S. will continue to uh, advance that policy in uh, in one or another fashion. Omer denounced his uh, annexation program, what's uh, uh, euphemistically called convergence and described here often as withdrawal, but in fact it's uh, uh, formalization of the program of annexing the uh, valuable lands from most of the resources, including water of the West Bank, and uh, uh, cantonizing the rest uh, and imprisoning it uh, since Georgia also announced that Israel would take over the Jordan Valley.